Ernie over this case. Um, I've dealt with it with him, uh, for him, with him, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I am uh, from a charitable trust called uh, Sovereign Paralegals. We um, we tell people what's happening on a legal state, you know, of, of play, and then um, we advise them how to proceed. So, if I may just take five minutes to let you know what's happened, with because you guys are a debt recovery plus, you're chasing this, and on this letter it does say that. Um, by the, you've given an offer by over 136 quid to settle the account and it needs paying by the, did you say 19th of um, April? Yeah, but David, I just need to stop you, I do apologise. Physically, without authorization from the gentleman in question, Mr Dickinson, yeah. I can't discuss any form of matter with yourself. So we what need does he need, that's alright, that's no problem, so what do you need? For what do you need to happen for me to have for you to recognise I have power of attorney and I'm acting as his legal um, counsel? What is it you need him to ring up and say that my, me, David, is um, from it sovereign power? It needs to be in letter form. A letter. To be in letter form. A letter form to state that obviously he's giving power of attorney and authority. Give your details, and then obviously we can discuss that matter further with yourself. This was done to the original um, the original people that issued the ticket because um, he did say. He would offer the money, um, and because he wasn't the driver, he's just a uh, registered keeper. It's a business van, and the vehicle we he did actually want to put down that the vehicle wasn't parked, and this, that, the other. So um, he did write that initially. And what's happened is the issuing company, and you've got that on record, who's issued the initial ticket, and you know um, the PCN, should we say? Um, they've they've ignored this and passed it to you, a recovery. Um, company, so we will. I will in, go back now and, and tell the client to um, yep. to come back and give you power of attorney. But the account is in dispute for the time being, um, and so I will get him to do this now. I will go and ring him and tell him to call you guys up. Is there any particular? Yep. No, um, will he just quote the the reference and then give you yeah. the verbal instruction, the, or it has to be written? You said written. It needs to be written. Yeah, put it in writing first. We can have obviously confirmation that we are able to discuss it further. Uh, it's just obviously then we've got evidence there to hand who we can and who we can't discuss with. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm, I'm not aware. saying that you're not you're, you're not the person who's acting on his behalf, but without the evidence, and anyone could ring us and say, look, we've got power of attorney, and we'd say, well, we need the proof. Yeah, so he can do that. This account is in hold. Then keep it on hold for the time being. This call. Yeah, um, it'll be on hold for the next seven days, sir. Next seven days. That's the time then. Can he email right. or does it have to be with the um, register with the post? Yeah. It needs to be registered with a pulsar. Right, there, there we go. All right, then I'll get that done. So if you could just put down a note on that account and effective of what we're doing, um, and I will be back yeah, in no. touch um, once you've got that. I'll, I'll, I'll ring up in no uh, six days or something, and we'll sort it out then. But uh, thank you very much for your help no then, buddy. All the best, David. Thanks for your call, sir. Thank you. See you later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, Bye. <clears throat> there we go then. So this is why I said this on the website. We'll get power of attorney. The case is in dispute it's on hold i'll ring up the client now explain that we need to legally give them notice normally it's been verbal and they've acted on it but the game is changing and we are um, we are doing everything by the letter which then gives us more force and recourse when we go down the line and um, they try to take it to a, a court what does it say on here um it says Final settlement offer of £136 to avoid court action. We refer to our letter dated 21st of March. As, as you didn't pay what you owe, we recommend to our client that they appoint their solicitor to start court action against you. When taking any court action, our client must demonstrate to the court that they have done as much as possible to settle this matter out of court. This is known as a pre-action protocol. As part of this, our client has told us that if you want to settle this matter once and for all, they're willing to accept 136.00 pound sign instead of the full amount of 160.00 pound sign. What to do if you want to settle this matter once and for all? To settle this matter now, you just need to pay the reduced amount of 136 no later than the 19th of April 2017. You can pay online, blah, 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 go here, ring that, full details on the back of this letter, debit, credit card, fees, when you contact, blah, blah, blah. What if you don't pay the reduced amount of 136? This is our client's final offer to settle the matter before considering taking court action. If you haven't paid the reduced amount by 19th of April, our client will withdraw the offer 
This means that the amount due will go back to the full amount of 160. Our client will consider taking court action against you for non-payment of that full amount. If our client takes court action and wins, they may ask the court to they may ask the court to order you to pay their court fees and solicitors costs as well as the parking charge. A court judgment against you could seriously affect, affect your future credit worthiness and employability and could lead to enforcement proceedings to recover the judgment debt. What if you want to settle but you're having problems paying? Please don't ignore this letter. If you're having problems and want to talk to us about an easy, more affordable way to pay, please call us on. However, we can't offer a short-term payment plan for the reduced amount. It can only be for the full amount. So yeah, simple. Power of attorney, the accounting dispute, the credit in issuing company that have said he's guilty have had uh, a conditional acceptance offer uh, informing that the driver at the time was looking for directions he was lost he was driving a business vehicle you know it is a vehicle because it's a business so we're not arguing that um, and because he is the driver uh, they've sent it to the registered keeper that is the owner as well um, V5 registration logbook man, the business owner, and he's not the one that's driving the van. So, in accordance with law, and not to do any kind of misrepresentation, commit fraud, or, you know, pay someone else's fine, he's the business owner, he's not the actual driver, so he isn't liable. The driver is. So they offered, for a £10 fee, to submit the name of the driver, of which to proceed with this correctly, legally, and lawfully. In accordance with all the statutory regulations, the issuing company of the ticket have decided not to accept that and just to pass it to the debt recovery plus so debt recovery plus have been informed and spoken to they've just ignored stuff and sent stuff back so now we'll get power of attorney they're not going to proceed so that's good they're going to give us another week i'll get the client rang up we'll get the letter sent off um signed for um right when you send stuff you send it registered or yeah registered post signed for is great but signed for we're finding out can be intercepted at the sorting office and signed for um, before it gets to the original recipient what we're seeing is some letters um, I can't be specific but people will know um, in the, in the groups in the circles yeah so that's a bit of a bummer because then Royal Mail are intercepting and committing some kind of uh, you know, uh, illegal activity with the mail system, even though a Royal Mail person is signing for it, it isn't the recipient of where it is intended to go, which is what the deal is when you send that letter. So Royal Mail are tampering with the letters system, and it's not getting to the recipient. This is when it's signed for. Now I've been told to look into um, registered, so not recorded, registered, and that's a different way. So we'll have a look at that as well. I'll inform and uh, check out. So here we are. It's not bad news it's going where we want it to go so we'll give you an update once we've got power of attorney i'll ring them back and we will get this case uh, discharged dropped discretion used or um it will be applied to the correct person the driver all right so peace love and light guys the day 18th of uh, april catch you in a bit